Hello and welcome to another episode of Fishing Gurus. My name's Dean Macy and we have a very special show for you today. I know I always say that, but it really is. We're on the banks of the River Kennet at Burfield, run by Semex Angling, one of my favourite stretches of river in the entire country. We're going to be targeting Chubb and Barvel, but the river isn't in great trim, so it's going to be pretty difficult. But I'm not going to be doing it all on my own. We've got the former England goalkeeper and fishing star, David Seaman, to help me out. He's set up just down the bank, so let's go and meet him. David. Welcome to Fishing Gurus, Thank mate. You, mate. It's an absolute pleasure having you on. Cheers. But I've got to say, the river looks a bit funny at the moment, doesn't it? It does. Yeah, it's not the best. Um, yeah, as, as you know, I live on the Kennet. And, yeah. Uh, I see it going yeah, I know. Up You've rubbed down it in seven and... times this morning, mate. <laughs> Trust me. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit high and a little bit coloured. Yeah, uh, we're actually saying that, I mean, we turned up, what, a couple of hours ago before the cameras. Had a wander. The swim you're fishing, it was underwater. <laughs> yeah. About an hour ago, it wasn't, and now it's back underwater. It's, it's coming up and down like, you know, like a yo-yo so, at the moment. So strange, but uh, yeah. you never know, you know, does it make the fish work harder? Does it make them hungrier? Well, let's hope, hope so. so. <laughs> In truth, I mean, I came down for a bit of a practice last week. Um, I didn't catch any big fish, um, but the river, certainly on this stretch at Burfield, seems to have been up since the first, you know, certainly since yeah. the start of the season. We're, what, the second week of the season now. Yeah. And to be honest with you, I've had very few first two weeks that have been completely memorable. You, on the other hand, fishing yeah. a slightly different stretch of the Kenyan, have had a phenomenal start to the we, season. We've had, a, yeah, me, me dad came down for opening night yeah. and uh, we popped the champagne into the river and I was reading the tweets actually and I was working thinking, <laughs> right, I feel really sick. As you do, and then, you know, we, we fished for about an hour at 12 o'clock and then uh, we had a couple of uh, barbel up to about six or seven. Yeah. Um, but since that, over the weekend, we've had like three nines and, you know, really? three sevens and stuff. So. You know where, where I where I live. It's it's in my garden, so yeah. they're my pets. <laughs> well, this is a hundred miles away from me, but one of my favourite stretches of the river. You've actually decided to fish the Weirpool because this is a style of fishing you've been doing recently yeah. over the last couple of weeks. Yeah. I'm fishing sort of a little bit further down the bank in what we call the runoff, a little bit more sort of delicate fishing. Um, we'll look about uh, at your approach a little bit later on. But what what are the sort of things you look for in a, in a big because it's a powerful weir at the moment. Yeah. Isn't it? The thing that I, the the main thing that I look for is obviously I. I, I PVA bag it, yep. um, and as soon as I cast it, I've got to feel it hit the bottom. Right, okay. you know, I've got to feel it clunk. Is that because of the debris that can be washed down? Yeah, and, and I don't and really want to be leaving it in in silt, you know, or you know, like whether you get the bite wash and stuff like that. Yeah. I want to, I want to feel a proper clunk. Barbel love gravel. a clean bottom, don't they? Exactly. Now I'm not entirely yeah. sure Chub really matter that much, to be honest with you, yeah. because they, I've had them feeding over everything. In fact, I'm <laughs> absolutely certain they've taken it halfway up a big straight uh, load of streamweed. But you know, you're definitely looking for the big big patches of gravel out there yeah yeah but it's and but like i say you, you can tell as soon as as soon as it hits you know feel your feel your lead down and feel that clunk and then just tighten up right well you've got two rods out already i, have. I haven't yet made my first cast although i have put some bait in so <laughs> i'm going to leave you to it mate good luck cool hopefully we'll be seeing each other very very soon but i'm going to go and get my rods out now i can't nice wait off. good luck i'm mate. off <laughs> Now, before I make my first cast, I've got to be honest, I'm really excited. Even when I come to this river and it's not looking that great, this place can produce some monsters. I want to talk you through the hardware because it's nothing special needed. I've got a pound and three quarter infinity barbel rod. I've got a 4,000 caldy loaded with 10 pound drag line. Now, 10 pound in these sort of conditions is probably the minimum you want. It's only a small river, but when these big fish go, you need to hang on to them big time. Um, about three foot, maybe four foot above the lead, I've got a tiny little sinker. Now, normally I wouldn't use that in normal conditions, but when there's a little bit of debris coming down, you use it as a bit of a weed stop. It stops the weed and the debris collecting around your rig. So that's a good little tip there. Four ounce gripper running. Now, to be honest with you, four ounces is very, very heavy, but in these conditions, you don't want your lead bouncing around too much because it can roll into snags. Um, I've got probably a 12, maybe 15 inch, 15 pound end trap hook link. I've got a nice big chunky sinker on there about sort of five inches from the hook. I've got a stick full of stinky pellets, a size 10 mixer and a 14 mil pellet as a hook bait. Now that, in these conditions when it's up and coloured, is absolutely spot on. Let's just hope I can stick it in front of a fish. Well that's the first cast in and generally in these conditions if the barber were having it, you'll know within sort of 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that. On big rivers such as the Wye and the Trent, they're not quite as pressured, so you can guarantee if you're on fish, you'll get a bite in the first 15, 20 minutes. But on here, you've got to get, give it a little bit longer. So if we don't have any action or any signs in about 45 minutes, there's plenty of swims downstream. And I think I'm going to grab Dave and we'll go for a wander. But hopefully, hopefully, we'll get one here. Well, we gave them first swims probably a couple of hours and uh, we put some bait in there to let the fish settle. Hopefully, there's a few good fish in there, but uh, in truth, I was getting played by a small fish. Lots and lots of taps, but... It's only two weeks into the season, so I couldn't sit on my hands. We've come right the way down to the bottom of the stretch now, and this swim has done some good fish for me in the past, over 10 pounds. Um, 
but at the moment it is proper overgrown and where the, the water's been over the banks it's uh, well it's a little bit flooded but we're going to give it a go um, same rig slightly smaller lead nice big smelly stick and i'm just going to swing it in down the edge so follow me the mozzies are absolutely mullering us so i'm only going to give it probably 20 minutes i'm not that brave but fingers crossed it won't take that long because there's not many fish on this stretch they do tend to run to a decent size you're not fishing for many so first cast has to be on the money so here we go Beautiful. Right, so this is the, the hook link that I had on, and I was getting a load of knocks and little pulls. And as you can see, the hair's quite long. So what I've done is I've now changed it. Same sort of pellet, 10 mil pellet, but obviously made the hair a lot shorter so hopefully we'll see what's been pulling me string <laughs> i mean oh, i've just had a massive take a proper barbel like take i've not seen it yet but it does feel like a barbel um maybe that shorter hairs work but this is not a bad fish David Seaman. i've got one well, no i knew we didn't have you on the show <laughs> just for your looks mate <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mate, honestly, it was a proper take. Was it? Yeah. Proper one of those three foot twitches you can't miss. Exactly. <laughs> Good man, I'll tell you what, I've had a nightmare up there. I've, the only brights I've had are from midges and oh, horse no. flies and everything. It's been absolute misery up there, but <laughs> I'm so glad you got stuck into one, mate. Does it feel good? It's not bad. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a it's lot just, of flow pushing, yeah, isn't it? As well. I was just saying that earlier because it makes it quite deceiving, isn't it? That it's whether it's a good one or not, but they're all good. Exactly. When we're struggling, they're all yeah. good, mate. That's what they are. Hey, it's, I've just seen it and it's not bad. <laughs> good man. Actually, I'm going to get these down so I can have a little look. So yeah. Beautiful but swim, though, isn't it? I mean, yeah, there's so many great. places I'm for them to hide. Where'd you get it? Just down here on the right hand side. Oh, you got it right I've down been the getting edge. like twitches for days, and um, then I changed, I changed my link and put a much shorter hair on it. Right. And this is the first time it's been in. And bingo. Oh, mate, that is a very good fish. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to get. Yeah, that. Yeah. That's what we come to the River Kennet for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good man. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. When it's actually ready, I'm going to jump down to your right so you can lower Oof. it down. But um, she looks like she's a That's long way away bad. from that. Wow. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Beautiful. Right, I'm actually going to get down there. Right, I'll tell you Go what, on, what I'm going to do. Let's do that. And. Uh, so you was having plenty of knocks and stuff? Oh, yeah, but like, like I, I thought they were chub. But yeah. well, I, think, I still think they were. Yeah. But, um, you know, and I just thought, right, I want to see what, I'm, <laughs> what are doing this. Yeah. So I shortened the, the hair rig. Um, but I've been putting a lot of paste around the hook and the bait. Yeah. Good, um, tri good trick in coloured water. Yeah. And hopefully when this hits the back of the net. <laughs> no hopefully about it. Yeah. Mate. Look at the size of them hands. It's got to be safe. <laughs> I'll tell you what though, that is the, that is in the net, mate. Yes. Yeah, it's in there, look at that. <laughs> that is a big fish, I'll tell you what, with us two either side of it, it's not going to look that big, but I'll tell you what, that could go double figures, mate. Love that. And that, two weeks into the season, is a stonker, well Love done. <laughs> yes. Well, David, hold your prize up, mate, I've got to be honest. <laughs> when the crew come running down to me and said you was in, I thought it might be a chub or something, because we have been struggling. But we have, haven't we? That is an absolute stonker. I would, I would certainly say that's an upper single. It's probably any other time of the year it's going to go double figures, but yeah. uh, she just spawned out. But that is a minter, mate. Probably the first hook you've seen this year. That's more than welcome, isn't it? <laughs> great fight. Yeah. Great bite. You made a few little rig changes and it made all the difference. Exactly. You know, and it's just, it's, whoa. Let's see, you've still got it. Yeah. <laughs> well, if, that, if you drop that fish, mate, I'm absolutely not <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> this doesn't look like the Arsenal players now. I'm holding a trophy. Yeah, Wee. but the thing is, that's, that's the good thing about resting the fish. They are fit when you're on the bank, but yeah. um, you've got to look after them, haven't you? You've got to, and you've got to be really sure that they're ready when they go back, because like, like here, it's flowing water, and if it goes and you've let it go and it goes belly up, then it's in trouble. Right, well, let's get her back in the net, rest her for a few minutes, and watch her swim away, because I don't know about you, but for me, that's always the best bit. It is.
Yes! <laughs> it's ten and a half pounds. Yes! <laughs> a double. I quite like doubles. Add to it then at Arsenal. <laughs> wow, there you go. Ten and a half pound of Kenneth Barbell. It's not bad, is it? And we're only halfway through the session. We've still probably got another two or three hours up in the weir swim. Um, see if we can get some more. 